I want to know. How I ended up on the boat? Well, I... I told you I went to warn Patrick, but he wouldn't listen to me. He said that he had to go out to Carlo's yacht, and, uh, well, I was afraid that if he did, something terrible would happen. So I hid on the boat that he had rented, because I figured when he found me, he would have to turn around because he wouldn't want to put me in danger. But then see, something happened. Um, Patrick said it was sabotage or something, because this valve opened up, and the water kept piling well, in. Marty, Marty, we... why are you doing this? Doing what? Why are you blowing all this smoke? Now, when I walked in here just a minute ago, something was going on in here. You were just sitting here, doing nothing. But I knew that something, as far as you guys talking, something was happening in here. I could feel it when I walked in, the room was charged. Now, I'm gonna ask you this, and, and I, I really wish you'd have told me before I even had to ask. What went on? Don't you think I deserve the truth? What do you want to know? I mean, you said you'd felt something going on between Patrick and me when you came in the door. Well, of course there was something going on. We'd almost drowned. I mean, I, if it hadn't been for him, I would have drowned. And I guess what you were feeling, it, what you saw was that, well, it was a combination of things. It was my gratitude to him and uh, my exhaustion and this fear that I had that wouldn't go away, that no one would ever find us, never see you again. Barney. That's what I was scared of, too. Listen, I had half of Lambview telling me that you'd drown. Another half would tell me that you'd run off with another man. And all I kept saying to them was, just find her. Find her, and then everything's gonna make sense. Perfect sense. But it doesn't. The Coast Guard says we should leave right away. So they asked me to round you up. We're talking. Maybe now is not the time for that, Dylan. Oh, is that what you think, Thornhart? We've been through quite an ordeal, and I'm including you in that. Well, let me remind you, I wasn't in your ordeal. I wasn't the one in the water with you, remember? I wasn't the one who saved my wife. You did. And now, when I'm sitting here trying to talk to her, it seems like she's gotten a little bit shy. So why don't you tell me something? Just exactly how did she show her gratitude to you last night? Don't you know your wife well enough to know she'd never dishonor herself or you? Okay, she's blameless, but that leaves you. And all you've been doing for months is stalking my wife. Every time she turns around, you're right there, breathing down her neck, playing your mind games. One minute it's, oh, Marty, I love you. And the next minute, you're publicly drunk, out professing what a coward my wife is. Well, let me ask you something. If she's such a coward, then why did she get on that boat to save your pathetic life? By the time I knew she was there, we were already underway. All right. So it was a big surprise to you, huh? Like you've never put her in danger before. Oh, but this time, see, you were there to rescue her. And that's what you did. And then you brought her here to this island, and you spent all this time in this cabin. So what did you guys do last night here? Play charades? We talked, Dylan. Oh, you talked. About what? So you expect me to believe that you and Marty just sit here all night talking? What would you rather believe? That you can't trust your own wife? Okay, okay, come on. That's enough. If you think that, then you don't deserve her love. <gasps> Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Did, did you hurt your back? I'm fine. I'll live. You folks all set? We better shove off. 
Sounds good. Listen, we'll talk about this at home. If your friend will leave us alone long enough. Shot. Game's over, you win. Don't be a jerk. Glad you're home safe, Marty. Thank you. Look, um, sorry I fell asleep last night. I really wanted to talk to you, but I was exhausted. Why did you leave so early this morning? I thought you needed time to think. Obviously, you're, you're really angry, but maybe... Look, whatever you came here to say, why don't you just say it, huh? Could you, could you just stop with that? Yeah. Come on, let's get it over with. Are you leaving me? Listen, I'm back. It feels like it's on fire. I can't move my feet. I, I can't understand. move my feet. You just threw the ball. I can't understand Marty. how you could have broken anything. I can't even feel your touch of my legs right now. You, there's no pain in your I legs? I can't feel them. It's my back. Where? Where in your back? My lower back. It feels like it must be broken or something. I don't... Ah. Okay, okay ah, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to go get help. You're going to be fine, all right? Ah. Don't move. Just stay right there. I'll be right back. Ah. All right, listen, the ambulance is going to be right here, so don't move, okay? All right? So listen, listen, I have to go see if the ambulance is here, okay? You're going to be fine, okay? He's hurt. Andrew, he's hurt. Is there anything I can do? Um, I called an ambulance. Can you please go out there and tell him where to come? Marty, was this gang related? No, he just fell right in front of me. It just happened. I, I don't understand. Hey, you hang in there, Dylan. We're going to get you some help. Hang in there. Thank you. Hey, hey, let me go. It's going to be all right. It's painful, huh? I'll tell you what, they're gonna be here in any time and they're gonna give you some of that pain, okay? All right? That's it. No, come on. Look at me. Just keep looking at me. I want to keep you conscious. That's it. Okay. Just keep looking at me. I'm sorry, ma'am. Could you excuse us, please? Come on, come on, Marty. Just come over here. Be free. We're right over here, Dylan. He seems like he's doing better. They give him some for the pain? Okay, that's good. It looks like the pain's uh, subsided. No, it hasn't. How, how did this happen? Well, how? I did it. I caused him all this pain. And no drug is ever going to take it away. When Dylan had found Patrick and me on the island, well, he got pretty upset. And, well, since then, we really haven't had a chance to resolve anything, so I... Marty, I'm here. sure that none of this matters right now. All that Dylan cares about is having you by his side. I don't understand. He just threw the ball, and then he just, he just collapsed right there in front of me. I mean, I don't understand. Do you have any idea at all? I don't know. With his back, his spine, it could be anything. A fractured disc, I don't know. Then all we can do is wait to see what the test show. <laughs> Is there something that I can do for you here? No. 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 All I need right now is for Dylan to be okay. 25-year-old male. No movement or sensation of bilateral lower extremities. Vitals, BP, 90 over 40. Pulse, 120. Respirations, 18. C-spine is immobilized. ETA, five minutes. It's okay. Right here. You're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. 
His name? Uh, the Dylan Moody. Dylan, I'm Dr. Marsha Robbins. I'm going to try and pinpoint exactly what the problem is, okay? So just bear with us while we run some tests, and we'll see what's the best thing for us to do. Hi, Marty. Hi, Dr. Robbins. Is this your husband? Yes, he fell and he hurt his back. He can't feel anything. Take it easy. He's where he needs to be right now. I want stat C spine and thoracic lumbar films and call CT scan to uh, stand by. Get me routine trauma B labs and start him on steroids. Marty, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay. Marty. What's his pressure? Okay, now you know how important it is to let the doctors do their job. I know, but I just feel like I need to be what with him. What you need to do is just take a deep breath, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go get you some tea and I'll be right back. Country Club? Yes, hi. Can I speak with the club manager, please? If you will hold on, I'll see if I can find it. Uh, no, 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 that's okay. Um, could you get a message to the, the Country Club stables, please? Mr. Thornhart? Yes. Um, can you just tell him there's been a medical emergency and that I won't be able to get there? May I say who's calling? He'll know who it is. Thank you. Heard is, is that a message for Mr. Thornhart? Oh, yes, the manager will see that he gets it. Oh, you know what? I'm heading right out to the stable. I'll take it to him myself. Well, thank you, Mrs. Manning. Oh, thank you. Who is he? There are fractures to his thoracic lumbar spine. Uh, how bad? Two fragments are compressing his spinal cord. Where? T10L1. Now, we've started him on steroids to reduce the swelling, but he's going to need surgery. I don't understand. How could he have broken his back? How could he have fractured his spine playing basketball? Does seem unlikely. Could he have sustained the injury in the past few days? Uh, Has he taken a fall? Uh, oh, my God. Yes, he hit his back on, on a wood stove, and he was complaining about pain ever since. I, I just didn't think it would amount to... Well, no reason you would. Sometimes these things don't show up right away. What's, the, what's his prognosis? You know, anything I told you at this point would be sheer speculation. We won't know how much damage there is until after surgery. Thank you. Marty, you're going to get through this. How could this happen to him? He likes to run. He likes to play basketball with the kids down at the center. Oh, oh, um, the kids, I think they're down there waiting for him. He's supposed to be down there for, for the game. C could you go down there and then take care of... Of course, yes. I'm on my way down there anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll go down. I'll take care of them. If you're going to be all right here alone, are you all right? Thanks. Thanks. Okay, take care. I'm not going anywhere. I couldn't deny it any longer. 
I can't lie to myself anymore. What you told me that day at Vicky's cabin, what you've known all along, it's true. It's true. It's true. I do love you. Thank you.